Welcome to Beyond Measure. This is TiffanyDoodles.com Clownfish Digi Stamp that I pulled onto the work surface of the Minecraft Studio Elite software. To change any of your black images to a color, go click on the effects tab and use the little toggles behind the correct color. Now print. Please forgive and bear with me. Portions of the video is a, are a little bit blurry. I don't know why, but for some reason it just did that and I was unaware. We're using Crayola colored pencils to color the wonderful TiffanyDoodles.com digistamp called Clownfish. First, I used the orange, then I used the yellow orange, and then I used the red orange. With this technique, you do not fill in all of your area in which you want to be colored. Just color little swirly lines. You can do this. I'm sure you can. This is the odorless mineral spirits, but oopsie, I forgot to go around the little seaweed-like stuff with my blue hues. I'm using blue and teal. No rhyme or reason or rules or regs as to where to put what color. Just have fun and enjoy. And now for our odorless mineral spirits and our paper stump. Oopsie, I forgot to add a little bit of rose shading around my white areas. First, I must make sure that my paper stump is nice and clean so I don't get any bad smudges. The only thing I want to smudge so to speak is the pigment that I placed upon the cardstock by coloring it on through my Crayola colored pencils. After dipping the paper stump into your Gamsol or odorless mineral spirits, it's the same thing by the way, you'll want to make sure that you do not have too much on there because that can make a smudge also. That's why I always have a scrap piece of paper hanging around. And now for some Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Iced Spruce. It's a lovely color for the shading part of the, I'll call it seaweed. I know it doesn't look that way, but I don't know what you call it. So we'll just call it seaweed. How about that? This is a water brush made by Ranger. It is really super to work with. And to color in the highlights, we're using Distress Ink by Tim Holtz and Ranger in Evergreen Bow. Now, there was a lot of water that I accidentally released onto the Digi Stamp, but just leave it alone. It'll dry and look lovely. Now I'm cutting the foundation of my card out of butter cardstock that I got from Click and Cut, which is also where I purchased my Zing cutting machine. And now we'll cut out the porthole SVG freebie from SVG Scut, excuse me, SVGcuts.com. And this uber cute little machine is the Sissix Texture Boutique. This, I'm going to use the wood grain Sissix Tim Holtz Texture Fade to emboss my little wooden ring of the porthole. This brown cardstock is from the Distress Collection of Coordinations by Tim Holtz. And so I'm sanding and it will give a really awesome wood appearance. Next, we'll run the little screw part of the porthole through the 5-inch Create a Sticker Machine by Zyron. It makes things super quick, super easy, and not messy at all. Be sure to run a brayer over it to make sure everything is stuck from edge to edge. And on our fresh cut edges, we'll need to ink around the all of them with the Walnut Stain by Tim Holtz Ranger Distress Ink. I'm also adding it to the shiny brass too, to antique it just a hint. This is such a fun little SVG file. And for the next technique, you'll need some air conditioning aluminum adhesive back tape. I got mine at Home Depot. I cut it into random shapes, then peeled off the back. You gotta be careful because it does try to misshape in itself when you pull the backing off. And now you get to adhere it. Be sure to overlap as much as possible. 
since there's a whole aperture in the middle, make sure that you do this on top of your nonstick craft sheet. Otherwise, you'll be stuck. <laughs> make sure to trim the excess and in the middle there, cut slits to the edge of your card and then fold it back so that it um, kind of frames that circle beautifully with the metal. Press it with your brayer a bit to make sure everything's stuck down firmly. Pull out a mouse pad or fun foam and get ready to have some fun with a tool set or, or a writing pen. This technique is an extremely similar to one that Tim Holtz taught on his blog. Now we're using the skinnier edge to do some other little holes. This is some acrylic paint. Make sure to cover your work surface so that you don't get any paint on something that would not receive it well. Cover your faux metal surface and let dry. Next, I couldn't find a baggie in the size in which I needed for my water. So I thought, okay, let's go out on a limb. What can we do to create this neat ocean effect? Aha! Cut your transparencies. You need two of them because you will enclose this hair gel and the salty ocean distressing by Tim Holtz between them. Plus, you'll need a 3M adhesive sheet like you use with metal or some super strong double-sided tape for the edges. Making sure to cover each and every edge with that adhesive. Otherwise, oopsie, you could have a mess. Make sure that you brayer the edges before you brayer the middle. Once the paint has dried, sand and wipe away the dust with your microfiber cloth. Now we get to adhere our super cute little porthole with our Scrap Happy Sheer Glue by Rubber Cafe. This is a super glue that I have come to love so far, but I'm still not really, really experienced with it. Make sure that you inked all of your edges before adhering with the Walnut Stain Distressing by Tim Holtz and Ranger. Now you'll need to take your double-sided tape or make your own from your adhesive sheet and pleat it along the outer edge of your circle aperture. Or you could say the hole in the front of the card. <laughs> Gently close the card inserting your ocean and stick firmly. And now, meanwhile back in the ocean, our image has fully dried and now we'll trace around the insert to create our image insert. If I use this template for the card again, I will not use my corner chomper for the corners. I will trace around the rounded corners of my card to get it to where it will fit perfectly. Run your image insert through the Xyron 5 inch create a sticker machine and then run your aperture insert through the machine also. Place and press to get a really nice clean finish for the inside of your card. The ocean effect really turns out pretty cool. We mustn't forget about our happy birthday sentiment since it's a happy birthday card. I changed the black color to blue, cut it out randomly, and now I am inking with the Distress Ink in Salty Ocean. This project is the first time I've used this color and I absolutely love it. It is an absolutely gorgeous color. But can you tell what I was talking about? How that my um, corners don't really match because I didn't go by the actual shape of my card and I just used the corner chomper. This is the awesome Jelly Roll Stardust gel pen. I'm just adding a few highlights. And this is our completed project. Thank you so very much for watching. And know that your ship is sure to come in. Be blessed beyond measure.